I'm back out in the woods again today and I wasn't actually planning on making a video but I've had a wander down to these waterfalls and they're really nice so I thought I'd show you them too. I've got a frame set up on here. I'm quite liking this section here with all the leaves and you're getting the water rushing through. It's sort of coming across, cutting down and then across again like steps and then you've got signs of autumn speckled through it like with all the leaves down on that rock you've got these leaves here there's leaves on that rock and it's just looking really nice now i'm not a big fan of long exposures but i'm giving it a try and that area there in the middle this bit here when you do the long exposure it sort of makes it quite ghostly I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I like things to look like it looks with my eyes and it's, it's just more contrasted than that in real life. So I am going to do an, a little comparison video again, comparing focus stacking to small aperture because I think this is a good place to do it. It's kind of an awkward shot to get because there's, there's a lot of things going on and yeah, it's quite tricky to get it all in focus. But what I'm going to do is I want to see what's down here. So I want to follow this waterfall down. And there's a big log there that's going across. So I think if we go over to that side, we can get something down there. But for this shot here, I'm at ISO 50, F18, and it's an eight second shutter. So we'll grab this one now. It doesn't really get more autumnal than that. It's like really colourful. It feels a little bit like the sun is going to come out. So I'm going to wait here for a few minutes longer and then we'll head down there. I actually came out to try and do some audio recording of the wind in the woods and the waterfalls. So hopefully that's been added onto this video. Although I don't think I'm going to need to. You might be struggling to hear me already. There's the wind. So yeah, we'll have a little wander down there now. I think we're gonna to have to swap over to the GoPro. This is really awkward to get to. This is a tree I was talking about. It's sort of twisted, but these rocks are really slippy. I'm gonna try and get my tripod onto dry land. So we're on rock on all of these and I'm liking this wet area down here and I like this, um, this trunk. So we can move this out of the way and I think we can get something here. It sort of calms down in the middle, then we've got the big falls above it. Managed to get this framed up how I like it now. We're sort of looking into the crack and you can see the, the water coming through underneath and then you can see the waterfall up above and it's quite glary on this area which I quite like because it's drawing your eye into that dark area and you get all the autumn leaves and I'm going to focus in this area down here and before I thought I needed to move this branch but it's moving that branch over there, so I'm not going to touch that. I do wish that branch wasn't there. Hmm. Need a bigger stick. I was going to put on a 10 second timer and try and get up there, but I've got this big stick. <laughs> so I'm going to um, move them branches out of the way. And it sounds pretty stupid when you say it out loud, but it works. I've recomposed it slightly. I can change this stick, but I can't get rid of the top ones. Well, not easily anyway. So now we've got this coming down, that going across, and you get the water coming through. 
This might be nicer if anything. So what you do is you get your big stick and trigger release in one hand, hook it underneath, then hold it for four seconds. That worked pretty well and I think I prefer this composition. We've got some more bold lines in the picture. Then you get that white streak that's cutting through it too. So I'm going to get a few more in this area here and I think we should get something down here. I'm going to go down to that point in a second too. Wow. This looks really cool. I like this green tree as well. This keeps on getting better. I'm not too sure if it's because I wasn't expecting to see anything, that the surprise has made it way better, but I'm liking this one here. The rock's are really dark and then the white's contrasting with it. And there's an autumn leaf on there. And I've gone for a portrait shot. Then you get that waterfall coming through, through that tree. And then you get the, the white and black streaks with the, the autumn leaf sat on there. I'd have liked to have gone for a wider shot, I think, and maybe got this side, but I don't really like that fallen tree. It's a bit distracting. I've got this photo set up here, and you've got the autumn leaves down here, and the photo's kind of got two sides to it. I like how this side, the, the water cuts through the dark lines, and this side it's a bit more full on. And I'm focusing on this leaf here. I think this might be my favourite waterfall shot that I've ever got. Just because, I don't know, that sort of ticks all my boxes. It's sort of more bold and simple and it just, just works. It's not too vibrant like a lot of autumn pictures can be. But there's a subtle, subtle touch of autumn with that leaf in this foreground area. I like how it's all defined in layers as well. So I'm going to have a bit of a play here and see what else I can get in that area. But it's looking quite nice down here too. But I think that's going to be the best shot that I get. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Got one last photo actually. Swapped over to the 100mm macro and got a closer up look at this single leaf. I like how it's sort of alone on the wall. Then it's, it's got no escape really. It's either going to come down that side or down this side. Occasionally the leaves are coming down the water so I'm, I'm hoping that we can get a, an orange streak through the water to the left of the leaf but we'll see what happens now. Bit of a waiting game.